Hello YouTubers, fellow hams. Well, just a short little uh, clip today. I wanted to give you something before I head out for a bit. I'm going to be going on a little excursion. I'm going to take the RV out for a little drive. Now that I've upgraded the battery, fixed the plumbing, uh, and a few other little things, I want to take it out, test it out, and uh, go off the grid for a bit. So I'm going to go camp on the beach for a couple of days. The weather's going to be nice this week. But as a result, um, videos this week are going to be delayed. I'll shoot at least one while I'm out, um, maybe two, but they won't get edited and posted until the following weekend. So to give you something to, to watch this week, um, I have a short one today. Al, the uh, gentleman with the Cushcraft beam, um, had another problem the other day. Uh, he came out in the morning and uh, went to, to fire up his two meter radio. I don't know if you noticed, but up on the mast on top of his tower, He's got a uh, vertical antenna. It's a tri-band antenna, 6, 2, and 440. Uh, and fortunately, he was looking at the front panel of his radio when he keyed down, and he saw the SWR indicator go bam, all the way up, and he let up right away and, and said, uh-oh. <clears throat> so I came over, and, and we took the antenna analyzer, and we checked a few things, uh, and the SWR was, was off the scale on his 2-meter coax. Uh, so... So I suggested that he take the analyzer, go out to the tower, and uh, check check there, and then work his way back. Um, and, you know, make sure that the coax up the tower to the antenna is good. Work his way back, find where the fault is. A little while later, he came over with this. Now this is an Alpha Delta um, lightning arrester. And the way this works is, well... I'll show you inside here in this video clip when we were first inspecting it. I am working on this Alpha Delta lightning arrestor. Just trying to solve a mystery. Now the way these work, and it's really difficult to get you a shot inside of here. Um, but what you can see, we've got two SO239s and the centers are soldered together through the middle of this chamber. And in this opening that I've got in, in the camera here, um, that is where you would screw in a plug that would stop just short of the center um, connector, creating a spark gap. So you take this guy and you put it on your tower. It's got a bolt on the other end here. You thread it onto your uh, a tower or your mount, your uh, copper ground plate or whatever. Um, it is an Alpha Delta. Oh, there we go. Model uh, TT3G50. Uh, made in the USA. <laughs> lightning arrester. And uh, the, the theory is that uh, if lightning strikes this, or strikes your coax, it comes down, it bridges that little gap in there to ground and bleeds off instead of following on in through the other end of the coax into your shack. Uh, so you don't start a fire in your shack. I mean, it's not going to protect your radios. So there's still be enough of a spike there to harm your radios, but uh, you still want to unhook your radios. But, you know, the lightning might discharge at this point outside of your shack instead of coming in. <sighs> so anyway, the owner brought this to my attention for fun because, well, let me show you. I'll put my uh, multimeter in continuity mode, now if you listen. Right? Okay. I'm going to hold one probe on ground and put the other probe in the center. And it's open. And I can... If I, if I push at just the right angle, put a little pressure on that center at just the right angle. It's hard to find it now. There it is. There we go. I'm reading a short from the center to ground. And if I twist it around a little bit, the short goes away. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, I have tried and tried and tried to get a shot inside of here that can show you what's going on. But what down inside of here 
right around one of the ends of the SO239 are some very, very, very fine whiskers of wire just laying in there. Uh, like, I don't know, they're, they're like a individual wires off of a braid of a small coax or something. So I'm going to get my tweezers out and try to pull those out onto a piece of paper so I can show you. Um, a little paper towel here. So I can show you what was in there causing the intermittent short on this lightning arrester. Can I do this and stay out of the shot? I can get it. Did I? No. Oh, there it is. I think that was it. So sometimes I'm an idiot. I uh, set up the camera angled it just right so I'd get a good shot of me putting the tweezers in there and pulling the wire out. And I did so and got all excited and thought this is going to look good on video and then I looked at it and there's my arm. <laughs> I had a flashlight in my hand so I could angle more light in there to see what I was doing. And uh, I got so focused on pulling the pieces of wire out that I completely forgot to look at the camera. But I did take a photograph of the uh, wire. I got the macro lens going. And here you can see the three little fragments of wire that were inside the chamber in that lightning arrester, causing the intermittent short. So, I guess the conclusion of that uh, is uh, anything that you buy, regardless of how simple it is, if it's brand new, um, inspect. Check it out. Take a close look. Uh, this would have been really hard to spot. Those were very fine wires down inside of there. Um, I don't know if you would have seen it. I, I had to get the light down in there just right in order to get the, the flash of light off the wire to notice it. So <laughs> he, um, he did have two more of them and he went ahead and replaced both of them on the tower with the other two, but he fully inspected them, blew them out with air and uh, looked in there with a flashlight and I assume a magnifying lens. He, he said he inspected the heck out of them. So they, went, they were clean. Uh, I'm sure this was a, a one-off, you know, just something something that happens on the assembly line uh, anyway so uh there you go uh anyway uh let's see i will be uh probably pretty quiet on social media this week because i'll be out and about uh but we should be back towards the end of the week and hopefully have another video for you um have another video for you next weekend so till then thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.